Well, I'm sure you've noticed that the political football of the week is the debate about health care and whether or not the government should be able to force Catholic hospitals and universities to provide for birth control in their insurance policies. Uh, I don't know if I'm the only person in the country who feels this way about it. Maybe Ron Paul agrees with me. I haven't checked to see what he's been saying about this. But does anybody notice that this is, is it, that it's kind of, does anybody else think it's kind of ridiculous that the federal government is getting involved in whether or not my wife or my daughter has insurance coverage for anything? much less whether or not she's covered for birth control. And when did birth control become insurance? Remember when insurance was insurance? You know, insuring against some kind of a catastrophe? It used to be called hospitalization. You used to have insurance against major medical bills. It didn't include birth control pills, condoms, Viagra, whatever. Uh, I don't get it, but I, what I think everybody seems to be missing is that this is the federal government, the President of the United States, forcing an insurance company to cover someone's birth control. It's not even something that should be insured. It's not insurance. You, you, you know, if, you're, if you don't want to have a kid, there are other ways of not doing it besides uh, you know, taking a birth control pill. Tell your husband to put a hat on it. You know what I mean? It's uh, in that tough. And how, how hard is it to get birth control pills? And why should everybody's insurance go up because somebody wants to be covered for their birth control pills? It's not something that needs to be insured. Your house burning down. You need insurance against that happening. Getting in a car accident. Getting run over by a car. Those are things that need to be insured. Birth control, you go buy your birth control. Why is that insurance? I don't get it. Maybe somebody can explain that to me. But that's... that's <laughs> That's not really the main thing I wanted to talk about, because I did want to talk about a political football. And this is all about government taking over our lives. This is the Los Angeles County Board of Supervisors. You know what they've done now? No longer allowed to play with a football or a Frisbee on the beach. You're already not allowed to smoke on the beach. On the beach. You, you, you can't go find a secluded place on the beach and smoke a cigar if you're a guy. You can't do it. It's just couldn't possibly do that. 80 mile an hour winds could be blowing everything away from the other 3,000 people that are down at the other end of the beach. You cannot smoke a cigar on the beach. Uh, but you can't play football on the beach now. No football, no Frisbee. Not allowed to do it from Memorial Day to Labor Day on any beach in L.A. that's supervised by the L.A. County Board of Supervisors. Uh, and here's the, best, here's the the updated rules. Here, I'll read it for you. I've got it right here. The updated rules now prohibit any person to cast throw, toss, kick, or roll any object other than a beach ball or a volleyball upon or over any beach between Memorial Day and Labor Day. The new rules will be in place at beaches owned, controlled, and managed by the county according to the ordinance. This is the further feminization of America, wussification of America. That's one thing. The other thing is this is more government intrusion into everything. You used to be able to go to the beach. People had enough common sense that you didn't throw a football around a bunch of old ladies. You went to a spot where you could throw a football. Are people that stupid now that they need to have a law to tell them that you shouldn't be throwing a football around where people are sitting trying to get just do some sunbathing uh, or, or throw a Frisbee? I, I, could have, I could be talked into having a, a federal law banning all Frisbees, but unless it's a dog involved, but that's, that's another issue. Um, but here's another thing. This is the best part about this, uh, this new law in L.A. You are not allowed to dig a hole in the sand. I'm not kidding. It's right here. You are not allowed to dig a hole in the sand that's deeper than 18 inches. I am not kidding. The Board of Supervisors in Los Angeles, they sat around. They didn't come up with 24 inches or 17 inches or 12 inches. 18 inches. That's it. You build a sand castle, the moat around it, if it's 19 inches, guy comes along, the, I guess the police come along, then they get their ruler or yardstick and they stick it in the sand, 19 inches, you're going to prison. Well, maybe not that, you're getting fined. But the police, the, I don't know, somebody will be supervising the digging of holes in the sand at the beach. There may not be any hope for the human race. That's all I'm saying. I'd like to hear your comments. You can post them right here or, uh, you know, send in a video.
Open an account on YouTube, upload it, link it to your post. I'll put it on. I've been asking now for a couple of weeks, not one person of the thousands of people who visit this blog, not one person has sent a video in. Come on, I'm begging you now. One video. What are you, you afraid? Afraid we might see you? You, you like your anonymity? Come on. Somebody's got to have a comment on this. 18 inches. Dig a hole bigger than that at the beach. You're, you are in big trouble.